Hey there, this is Ed Herzog, and in today's video, what I want to do is I want to show you how to create a sticky column or a sticky sidebar in Elementor Pro. Now, this is a feature specifically of Elementor Pro. If you have the free version, this is not something you can do. There's a plugin you can buy via Jet Elements that also has this feature. Um, I haven't personally used it. I do have a, a different plugin from Jet Elements that works very well, so I do believe that they have quality products. But, you know, I think in general, my opinion is, you know, you're better off going with a pro version of Elementor if you want a feature like this because, uh, you know, you get so many other features that go with it. This is, you know, kind of a nice little add-on they have uh, that I think, you know, is a kind of a neat trick that you can do with Elementor Pro that you can't do with a free version. So first, what I want to do is I want to show you what is a sticky column, what is a sticky sidebar, you know, just in case you're not familiar with that concept. So what happens, you know, this is a blog post. This isn't built with Elementor. I'm just, you know, using it as an example. You've got here a blog post and you've got the sidebar here. And so you scroll down, you're reading the, the blog post. And what you see is these, these things on the sidebar, they disappear, they go away. And there's really nothing over there that draws your attention. Your attention is focused here reading the blog post. And so, you know, this, this website is put together as a very nice uh, looking sidebar, but you know, people ignore it because it's just, there's nothing there that visually draws your attention. You know, no matter what you have there, uh, it just doesn't do it because it's, you know, it moves, it disappears as you're scrolling down. Now, but I want, want you to take a look as we get further and further down. Take a look here at this element here. This is an ad they have here on their blog post. This is going to stick. As we keep scrolling down, this is going to stick. And it's going to, because it sticks, look, it stopped. So this, you know, keeps moving, but this stays in place. That draws our attention to this element and says, hey, this is something maybe I want to take a look at, maybe I want to pay attention to. So that's the value of having a sticky column or a sticky uh, sidebar is that, you know, you can draw people's attention to something that is a value that you can't do when you've got, uh, you know, this kind of normal sidebar it just doesn't do it. So. How can you do something like that in Elementor? So I'm going to show you here. I've got this blog post uh, designed here. And, you know, you could do this also on a page. It doesn't have to be a blog post. Um, but, you know, for the most part, people, people would tend to do this on a, on a blog post. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And I want to do, uh, no, I'm sorry. I want to add a column. Okay, and then I'm going to move this over here because normally, obviously, you want your sidebar to be a lot, lot thinner than your main content. So, you've got two, there are two elements in, or two kind of options for creating a sticky uh, column or a sticky sidebar. First one is to use an intersection, and the second option is that the individual elements also have that feature. So, Let's take a look. One thing you could do, for example, you've got a sidebar uh, widget here. Again, this is a pro widget. So you could just slide that in, drop it over, uh, and you select your sidebar. I've got one set up already. You know, you set this up in WordPress by going to appearance and then widgets, and then you know you can set up, put what you want there. So I've got a follow us, I've got recent posts, and I've got uh, this video here. Okay, and so I could, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to come to this sidebar and go to advanced. And I then go to motion effects. And under motion effects, you'll see something that says sticky. And you simply click top. And then you can put it, they've got options desktop, tablet, mobile. You'll want to take a look at how it looks uh, down here under the responsive mode. Because uh, particularly with mobile, the sidebar tends to get pushed to the bottom, so there's really no point in having a sticky sidebar on the mobile because it's not really going to even appear like a sidebar. On the tablet, it might work. Um, you know, it depends on the dimensions of your of your pages and your posts. So that you know, you'll need to take a look at that and see. But you can you know, you can toggle these on or off. You've got options to do that. You know, the desktop is a place where you definitely want to have that. So I've got it sticky, and let's take a look at what happens. You can see, boom, it sticks, it flows. It stays there in place. Now you do have a limit. You can see that this is a, you know, because I've got these three different elements that I'm all sliding along, um, 
you know, there is a limit. What I found, for example, here, I have three recent posts. But if I put five of them, then it doesn't really slide right. So you do have a bit of a limit uh, in terms of what you can kind of stick here on the side. But again, you know, you see that that uh, stays in place while the blog post moves along. So, you know, people don't lose this here. They can, you know, might draw their attention that way by having it stick there. So that's one way to do it is by doing individual, individual elements, designing a sidebar and dropping it in there. A second option is to, I'm going to delete this. To do using an intersection. And so we'll slide an intersection in here. Then we'll delete one of the columns because obviously we want to make this a one column thing. And then I'll move some elements in there. Again, maybe I want a video. I might want a some share buttons. Uh, those in here. And uh, let me just get rid of one of these. Google Plus isn't worth having. And oops. Uh, oh yeah, got to make this just icon only, and then I'll go into columns. So, and you know, you can style the sidebar as you want. You know, I'm just doing the basics here because I don't want to, you know, waste your time styling this thing. But you know, obviously, you can change the background color, put spacing between these elements, change the size however you want. Um, okay, and then we come over here. Maybe we want to put some uh, uh, recent posts. So we can put uh, some posts over here, put that up there, and we'll make this uh, three posts, and we'll make it one column. Okay, so again, uh, here what I can do then is I can come up here to the, to the uh, intersection, click on Edit, go to Advanced, and again, you've got the motion effects, and you come over here to Sticky, and you click Pick Top. And again, you can toggle on and off desktop, uh, tablet, mobile. Um, and then again, you see at 6. Now, what, what you're seeing again, as I showed you, is we've got kind of too much here. That video that I put in there isn't showing, showing up. Only, you know, this, uh, you can only stick as much as the size of the, the screen here. So you do need to kind of pick and choose how you want to set this up. You know, you can't uh, have everything stick. In this case, you know, because you have it stuck, um, you know, the video ends up not showing up and I'm only and not getting all the blog posts either. So you do need to be careful about how you set this up. Um, so again, that's another way to do it is to drop it into an intersection. Now you may have a situation where, again, perhaps a better way to do something like this, you know, normally you've got three, four, five, six things on your sidebar. You may only want one or two of those to stick. So um, what you can do is you can drop the items that you want to have stick into, I'm going to delete that, uh, drop those into the intersection, the one you don't want to have stick, uh, put outside of the intersection, just put into a, into a regular section. Okay. So this now, these share buttons are in the intersection. This video is in the, uh, just a regular section. And so you see that the share button stick and the video doesn't. So you can kind of, you know, mix and match, have some of the things stick and some of them not. Um, that's probably how you would want to do this. What I did find is if you've got <clears throat> multiple, multiple items that you want to have stick, you'll need to put those multiple items inside of the intersection. If you do them individually, I'm going to uh, go here to the intersection. Oops, I didn't mean to duplicate that. Uh, if I go in here and edit it, and I'm going to turn this off here, and instead put the sticky on in the individual items. So I'll go to Edit Video, Advanced, go down to Motion Effects, and click Sticky Top, and do the same here with the Share buttons. Go to Advanced, go to Motion Effects, Sticky Top. Okay. So, what happens? What you're going to see is only one of them, or actually, I mean, look, uh, it ends up sticking one on top of the other, right? They both stick, but it doesn't really stick the way you'd want them to. Uh, so what you've got to do is, you, in a case like this, you've got to put them both into the intersection and then, uh, and then put the intersection, intersection sticky. So I'll show you real quick, and we'll turn that off on the individual item. 
come over here on the video, turn that off, and then move the video back into the inner, oops, try to get this video back into the intersection. There we go. Looks like it's in there. And then we'll make the intersection stick. Okay, come over here. Boom. Okay. And again, now you'll see when you've got them both in the intersection, they're, you know, and the intersection is sticky, now you see they both scroll very nicely together. But if you've got them set up both via their own uh, their own individual item as a sticky thing, it doesn't work well. So, you know, you have to plan out how you want to do this, how you want to set up the sticky. The other thing I'll tell you is, you know, you could do this on both sides, too. I've seen that on some blog posts where, you know, you've got some things over here. You know, maybe you've got... Uh, a photo of your lead magnet that sticks and then over here on the other side you've got social share buttons that stick um and so uh you know you can do it on both sides you're not limited just to one side in terms of how you set this up so that's it that's how you set up a sticky column or a sticky sidebar in element or in elementor pro uh, if you have questions or comments please let me know in the video uh please follow me um hit the uh the subscribe button and also the notification bell. I've got more videos coming out, tutorials for how to use uh, different features of Elementor, particularly Elementor Pro, but also some basic features as well. And if you're not currently a subscriber to Elementor Pro, again, I encourage people to buy it. You know, again, I, I'm a big believer in Elementor Pro. I bought it when it first came out and I you know, resubscribe every year. I think it's by far, in my opinion, the best uh, website builder there is. I will put my affiliate link in the video, in the video description. Uh, if you do buy from me, I do receive a small commission that does help me to continue to make videos like this. So that's it. I uh, hope this video was of value to you and I hope you have a great day. Bye.